Muy buenas chicos, ¿cómo están? Sean bienvenidos, yo soy Mio Vir y estamos en otro capítulo más de Kenshin Impact y esta vez vamos a ver la historia legendaria de este personaje que tenemos aquí que se llama Jenny, Jenny, Jane, Jean o algo así, no sé cómo se recuerda, se llama, creo que se llama Jean y vamos a ver cómo le va en su historia personal. Nos ha invitado la señora eh, esta de aquí. Esta que está aquí, nos ha invitado eh, a hablar con ella, supongo que algo nos va a decir. Es Sora. La de la comida, vamos a ver, Sara, perdón ¿Pasa algo, Sara? Cuéntanos, sean bienvenidos Cuéntanos, sean bienvenidos Ah, como Nimuri nos conocimos una vez, pero muy brevemente Oh, yes. I must apologize for being unable to visit the Knights in person, but the restaurant has been so busy lately. Unfortunately, it's right in this busy season that the route between here and Springvale, which is used for the delivery of our ingredients, seems to have been occupied by the Hillichurls. The problem is that the suppliers in Springvale say that deliveries have nothing to do with them. They're just responsible for selling us the ingredients. <sighs> that would be great. Please, ask Mr. Jean to send a party to clear out the hilly trolls from the road to Springvale. Oh, help at last. With Jean on the case, this will be solved in no time. Thank you. Seems like everyone really trusts Jean. Oh, I nearly forgot. Charles the bartender said he's been having some trouble too. Why don't you stop by and see him on the... Fine. In for a penny, in for a pound is the Paimon way. But this is really stretching the definition of on the way, in my opinion. Esa <risa> Paimon siempre habla. El día de un caballero Favonius. Entonces les iba a ir diciendo, chicos, eh, sean bienvenidos, por cierto, al canal. Yo soy su amigo Giri y estamos aquí, pues vamos a ver cómo nos va con Paimon, ya saben, como siempre, acompañándonos. Ah, por cierto, chicos, los que no han visto mis capítulos, les muestro por aquí uno de mis personajes. Eh, rompí algunas gachas que no les he mostrado la segunda vez que rompí 40 gachas eh, 40 tiradas más 20 más y nos salió algo interesante por no decirlo, miren nada más esto una, dos, tres, cuatro veces de eh, Bárbara y nos dieron dos de Noel y nos dieron dos de Fisher que por cierto Fisher es el nuevo personaje que tenemos, aunque no pienso usarlo porque no me llama la atención o no le eh, tendría que leer un poquito más para saber qué onda con Fisher, ¿vale? ¿Qué a fruit juice store? <laughs> How rude! Especially since we're here to help! Help? Oh, yes! You're the acting Grandmaster's new hotshot helper, aren't you? Uh, that's one way of putting it, but... Great! Tell Jean I need my quarterly tax return forms, then. It's time to get Elzer on to doing the accounts again. I must say, though, the tax rate on alcohol in Mondstadt is pretty steep. <laughs> That's mostly down to Master D. Luke's successful business model. Why are the accounts with Jean? Does she do bookkeeping now too? Acting Grandmaster Jean personally goes over all the accounts. After all, the wine industry is Mondstadt's main source of income. Jean takes great pains to make sure no detail is over. Hyman never knew that. Jean's job is even harder than it seems. The acting Grandmaster's hard work indeed makes our lives a whole lot easier. We're certainly very lucky, but to put it bluntly, we just take it for granted that that's the norm now. Wow! How do you sleep at night knowing how much pressure you put Jean under? <sighs> When you put it like that, I do feel quite ashamed. I suppose I should give her one on the house next hmm. time she's here. It's a Although, Paimon. I doubt the acting grandmaster even has the time to spare for that. Sounds like a poor excuse to deny Jean a free drink. Vale, pues vamos a ver a Jean. Hey, you two. Margaret. Margaret, what are you doing here? My cat's gone missing. Have you seen it? Ayona. No, not her. I imagine Diona's probably still in the tavern. <laughs> I mean, little Princey. Prince was just home. Now he's gone. Did you seriously think Diona was a house cat? <sighs> This is a bit worrying. What if Prince can't find his way home? But we are on our way to an urgent meeting with Jean. 
chances are you're on the way to see Jean? What a coincidence. Paimon thought you were looking for a cat. Yes, I wanted to see if Jean could help look for my cat. Seriously? You want Jean to help look for your cat? What's wrong with that? Jean's a really nice person. Yes, it's obligation. Please mention it to Jean for me. I'll treat you to a brew at Cat's Tail later. <laughs> hey! Hey! Ugh, unbelievable! Guess the case of Prince the Missing Cat is now added to the agenda for our meeting with Jean. Pobre Jean la tratan como un trapo, loco. Qué mal pedo. Uy, está enferma. Acting Grandmaster? Oh, uh, Master Jean? Caballera de Dandelion. Eso, es, eso tiene que ver chicos lo de Dandelion con su con su ítem de, de mejora que son esos este polvitos de Dandelion. Oh, it's our honorary knight. Sorry, I must have been daydreaming. How can I assist? Actually, it's not us who need your help. It's a bunch of other people. I see. Well, thank you for your service to the people of Mondstadt. <coughs> I have made a note of these commissions in my files and I will <coughs> make arrangements accordingly. Great! We didn't miss out on anyone's commissions, did we? Sarah's Hilly Churls, Charles' tax return, Margaret's cat. Seems that's everything. Se va a caer. Se va a caer. Then, Jean? Sí, se partió la mar. Jean, are you okay? Barbara? How's Jean holding up? Is it serious? It's just burnout from work stress. She'll be fine after a good old rest. Thanks for bringing her here. She may have tried to keep soldiering on otherwise. It's not a surprise though. She does have a lot to get through every day. Poor Jean. She's always been one to push herself too hard while overlooking her own needs. This isn't the first time something like this has happened. Oh, uh, you think so? I, I, I mean, she's the acting grandmaster and all. And we can't have her collapsing all the time now, can we? So, so you know, it's not like this is a personal thing. It's just out of love for uh, concern for the greater good. Yes, that's it. What's up with mm -hmm. Barbara? Huh. Anyway, you're an honorary knight, aren't you? While the master is down, the knights should share her burden. That's a very good point, but shouldn't one of the fully qualified knights do? Jean has so much to do. An extra pair of hands can't hurt. You should go and check in at the headquarters. Jean will be fine with just... Paimon feels like she's trying to get rid of us. Why is that? Nothing. We'll leave you to it. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, esa, eso hay que investigarlo, esa relación medio rara. I already told you. Esa relación medio rara que tiene esta Bárbara con Jean, en su afección. An invisible friend who hangs out with you sometimes, or do they just exist in your imagination? Imaginary. 
como tú. No le voy a decir por qué, pero sí entendí la referencia. So you can see them? Go on, tell us. What does this imaginary <laughs> That would be telling. Anyway, it's all yours now, traveler. Take a look. See if you can see Nora's imaginary friend. Do you see him? Do you see him? Ah, so it does work for you too. Hyman wants to see. Wait, but this Gizmo isn't in Paimon's side. All right then, you'll just have to be Paimon's eyes on the ground. Let's go see what everyone's imaginary friends look like. Hmm. Flora from the flower shop always seems kind of floaty headed, you know? Paimon bets she has an imaginary friend. <sighs> Esa es la misión anterior. Vale. Continuamos nuestra misión. I've been waiting for you. Ah, este bastardo me cae mal. En serio me cae mal. I've informed about Jean falling ill. On behalf of all of the Knights of Favonius. Uy, se le fue la voz a Poimo. <laughs> well, the circumstances warrant it. This is the acting Grand Master herself we're talking about. Now, in addition to that thank you message, there was one other thing. <laughs> I must say I like your style, but before we can discuss a reward, there are some things I hope you can assist the Knights with. Right. Although the commissions you reported to Jean have already been handed off to someone, I am concerned that they will not be handled with due care without Jean's personal touch. So I am hoping that you can help out where you see fit. I will feel much more at ease knowing that the honorary knight is personally overseeing the... <laughs> oh, I have far more important matters to attend to. There are so many things. Yeah, you're a maldito flojo. You make me mad. Those are the ones. I appreciate the help. See. Me cae mal ese cabrón, en serio. Ah, mira, subimos 37, genial. So, yours is the cat that went. Venti, have you come to help? Me here to help you. Why, on the contrary, it was Paimon just saw you talking to Margaret about Prince. Aha! Uh -huh. So, Prince is the name of the feline fiend who thieved my spare astral iron string. Though it gladdens my heart to see that the free spirited ethos of Mondstadt is alive and well in creatures great and small. Still, it's a bit audacious. <laughs> Prince is a mischievous little rascal, all right? Indeed. <sighs> Just like Barbados. <laughs> yes, quite, quite. 
<clears throat> now, let's see about getting ourselves an audience with His Little Highness Prince Rascal of Mondstadt. I have a performance tonight, and without my spare strings, I shall have to disappoint my audience. What would a kitty cat want with liar strings anyway? Everyone knows cats go crazy for a ball of string. What? These liar strings are made of astral iron, which contains animal energy. That makes them extremely durable, so I normally just roll them up in a ball to make them easier to care. That's a trick of the trade from a traveling bard. The strings no. contain animal energy? That'll help us. It's time for you to use your elemental sight again. I'm unsure there must be some elemental footprints or something. Oh, thank you all. Prints should be somewhere around the marketplace. It's a black cat you're looking for. Uh, oh, take this fish. It's Little Prince's favorite food. Maybe it'll help you find him. Hmm. Gato perezoso. <gasps> Prince! Where did you go? We definitely had our work cut out for us looking. Oh, Princey. How could you leave me like that? Looks like those two need some time to themselves. And here are your astral iron strings, Venti. You found them! <laughs> Wonderful! I was not optimistic they would turn up. Hmm. I dare say that a private performance played using these very same strings would not be an excessive way to show my gratitude. Uh, what? Uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> apologies. At this distance, my. Okay, algo más que sabemos de Venti, Alien y Colorado. Oh, now Paimon gets why you didn't go looking for your strings by yourself. <laughs> anyway, thanks for the help. I'll be going now. <coughs> Ah, está con Lisa. Con mamacita Lisa. Alias mamacita Lisa. Lisa. Are you here about the tax return? Oh, hello, darling. You're quite right. After I heard about poor Jean, I thought I might lend a hand with some of her more literary duties. Cool. Well, if we're no longer needed here, we'll be on our way. Wait a moment. Actually, Charles here was wondering. Please, allow me, ma'am. I just took a rather important order. But unfortunately, we've run completely dry, and the delivery from the winery is behind. If it's not too much trouble, could you go? What's so urgent about this order? Ah, <sighs> it came in at the last minute, literally just a few seconds. Exactly, hence the urgency. So this is where Charles's delivery disappeared. Have you come to rescue me? I've been waiting long enough, and all the time I've been working at the winery, this is the first time I've been robbed by Hillichur. If you'd taken any longer, I don't know what I would have done. Fear not! My friend here is a Hillichur exterminator! Just as well. Then, please, escort this trans- and be careful with it. Uh, just beating up the Hillichurls is not the aim here. You'd better make sure the goods stay intact, because I certainly don't have them more. I'll be waiting up ahead. Leave it all to me. Right. Fuera basura. Grandioso, tú nada más viniste bien. I'll put in a good word for you with the gen. Sí, sí, sí. Ah, ahora está aquí. Got it. I'll set off Amber. right away. Amber, are you here to help out with Jean's commission? Oh, hi. Yeah, I was just getting ready. Who better than an outrider to mop up some hilly trails on the? Oh. Sarah, what are you still stressing about? I'm an outrider, and I won't disappoint. You misunderstand me. I don't doubt your abilities. I'm just overwhelmed. Another bizarre order came in just now. It's like they're hosting a banquet or something. <clears throat> really? You don't mind helping? Oh, that would be wonderful. You really are the good hunter. Yeah, mm. well, those hilly trolls are going to be a handful. Well, why don't you take this order? Start by getting the ingredients. Are you sure he can be trusted? It might end up tasting a bit funky. We're well past the point of aiming for perfection. This is now a fight to save the good hunter. A fight? For this dish, we need three sweet flowers and three fowls. Okay, go and get ready. You too, Amber. I'll be waiting here. Oh, yes, right. Okay, vamos a cocinar. Ah, sí tengo. Delicioso, este. 
One sweet madame received. Mmm. This smells absolutely divine. Hmm. Since you cook so well, uh, you must... Sticky honey roast? I'm sure she's heard Amber and Kaya mention this one before. That's right. A mainstay of the Good Hunter menu. It's my pride and the knights order it almost every time they come here for a gathering. Let me teach you the recipe for a sticky honey roast. Wait, didn't you say it's your pride and joy? You're going to teach us how to make it? Just like that? Uh, sí, primo. Así nomás. With your cooking skills, I don't think you will be doing a disservice to the Good Hunter brand. As soon as that sticky honey roast is ready, please bring it here. Entregar. Entregado. This is... Wow! Did you really cook this? Are we released from kitchen duty now? Yes. Thanks ever so much for your help. Amber should be able to take care... If you ever get tired of being an adventurer, there'll be a job waiting for you at Good Hunter if you want it. <laughs> ah, I think we're finally finished with the commissions we were doing for Jean. A day in the life of Jean really is hard work. What are you uh, feeling now? Let's head to the cathedral and pay her a visit. Hi, Barbara. We're back. Welcome back. You must be exhausted. Oh, it's nothing. Looking after patients is all in a day's work. Jean has regained consciousness and should be back to her normal self soon enough. That's great news! Let's go and see- But she just left the cathedral. I tried to tell her she needs more rest, but she wouldn't listen. She tried to act like she was fine and kept saying she wanted to get some fresh air. I bet you she's gone to Lady Vanessa's place. Where? Oh, that huge tree at Windrise? That place is dedicated to Mondstadt's hero, Vanessa. Jean goes there whenever she feels lost and confused deep down inside. Barbara, that's some pretty personal stuff. How do you know so much about Jean's innermost thought? Hmm. Jean, uh, mentioned it to me, you know, before she left. That's what I'm worried about, too. But I... Don't worry, we'll take over nursing duty for now. Como Good. siempre. That puts my mind at rest. May the animal Archon protect you. And Jean. Barbato, Ventis que me va a proteger si Barbato él prefiere dejarme que me partan la cola en vez de ayudarme. Mira, Barbato también viene aquí. O sea que es un lugar en común con todos. Lady Vanessa, I hope your watch over Mondstadt remains unclouded. I do not know if I or the rest of the world, as you had hoped for, have become stronger. Lady Vanessa me suena de algo. Me parece que es la de pelo rojo que aparece en el manga que conoce a Venti. Lo tendré que checar y ya les digo. Hi Jean, are you feeling better now? Much better. I was not expecting you to come here. Thank you for your concern. Are you sure? We saw you beneath the tree just now, leaning on your sword. Are you sure you aren't pushing yourself too hard? Oh. Thank you. That means a lot to me. Hmm. Hearing that boosts my spirits. But I must find a way to cope with minor setbacks like this on my own. Otherwise, how can I be the protector that Mondstadt needs me to be? The protector that Vanessa was. You truly revere Vanessa, huh? I do. Vanessa was the first Grandmaster. A kind yet formidable sí, estoy seguro que es ella. I have always hoped to follow in her footsteps. Les voy a poner la foto aquí arriba, si no me recuerdo. Vanessa es, es una que conoce a Venti, que a su pueblo lo trataban mal. Y Venti la salva y la convierte en la, en la, en la regente de ese pueblo. Al derrocar a los monarcas, si no me recuerdo. As a lion-toothed knight, she courageously overthrew the oppressive ruling aristocracy of her time. Then, she founded the Knights of Favonius and became known as the Dandelion, sí, spreading grace and compassion Por todo lo que nos está contando Jin, sí, es ella. Dandelion Knight? Isn't that your title? Hmm. Actually, all of the Knights of Favonius masters throughout the ages have inherited the title of Dandelion Knight or Lion Tooth Knight. Oh, that makes sense now. You too want to be as gentle as the Dandelion Knight and yet as fierce as the Lion Tooth Knight. Yes. 
I know it sounds like a huge honor inheriting both these titles from Vanessa, but I see it more as a huge responsibility. After all, it is a lot to live up to. Paimon thinks so too. Huh? Hmm. Jean? Who's there? <laughs> Finally, an opportunity comes to get rid of the master in a moment of weakness. And then you two show up and ruin everything! How did they know about Jean's condition? Choosing this moment to strike is a low blow, even for this lot. As long as my name is the Dandelion Knight, I swear I shall not be defeated by such despicable means. <clears throat> Since this... Opportunity has slipped away. I shall now be slipped. Stop! After him! <coughs> Jean, you're still recovering. No, I must go after him. <sighs> Jean, you can't keep doing this to yourself. Why can't you trust us to handle it? Uh, I do trust you. But to let an enemy get away like this would be a major dereliction of But at least let us go with you. Thank you for your understanding. I will graciously accept your help. Ay, huevón. Are you hurt? Ugh, darn him and his traps. How badly are you hurt? Oh. One of my own being injured because of me. Let me handle this alone. No, you are in no state to handle this alone. We're coming too. <sighs> okay, but before we move out, at least let me heal everyone with my dandelion break. Thanks. You're. Hmm. Interesante. <laughs> Ah, crea un campo de... Interesante, crea un campo. Uy, se recarga rápido, eh. A la madre como ocurre, Jin. La niña Flash. Así la vamos a poner este capítulo, la niña Flash. Lol. Fuera, amigo. Thanks to Barbara's help, my condition is better than I thought. The main thing hmm. is that you're safe. Now, isn't it time to get back to Mondstadt and rest, Acting Grandmaster? Yes, I should at least go and thank Barbara again. I hope she's not upset with me. Después de haber estado ahí encerrada en el calabozo ese. Master, you finally returned. The Animo Archon protects. Swan. Were you waiting for me? Has something happened? Yes, at the Angel's share. Uh, don't worry, it's nothing big, but... Um, okay, I know I said it's nothing big, but... All right, how can I put this? Uh, they just really need the acting Grandmaster. Huh? Well, if you say so, Swan, I will go. I should not let the other knights down. It's fine. Now that I have had the chance to stretch my legs, I feel much better. Hmm. Oh, great. Thank you so much. You really saved me on this one. For goodness sake, what is happening to the world? Swan used to be the most honest fellow. Now he's dumping things onto Jean. Well, Swan was clearly agitated. Maybe it is an emergency after all. Let's go and see what this is all about, shall we? Ah, ya sé qué cosa de ese. Se me hace que le prepararon alguna fiesta o algo. Para demostrarle que están preocupados por ella. Estoy casi seguro que es eso, weón. Ah, se los dije, creo, ¿no? Sí, se los dije. Tenía que haber algo de comida y por eso me habían pedido la comida para ella. 
You're not my girl, you. Oh, what's all this? It's a thank you party for you. A thank you party? Jean, when we heard the news about your illness, we were all so worried about you. We can only imagine how much pressure you must be under as acting Grandmaster, and you do so much work all over Mondstadt. We thought that since you so rarely take any time off, we take this chance to throw you a party. After all, you'll never let us do this once you're back at work. <laughs> uh, Jean? I... Uh, huh? Is this Jean when she's... shy? I've never seen her like this. It's easy to forget that outside of work, Jean is just a normal person, like anyone else. I... This is just all such a surprise. Thank hmm. you, everyone. This really means so much to me. <laughs> well, it's nothing compared to the amount of work you do for all of us. Da but there are so many things I still need to do. I spend so much time doing library admin. A few more pieces of paper to deal with was really nothing to worry about. Fear not. We wanted to make sure you could relax and enjoy yourself. So while you were away, we all pitched in and finished off your work for you. Did you really? Even the issue with the food deliveries? It was no different from what we see on patrol. A couple of hilly churls. Didn't take much to get rid of them. Mm -hmm. And the tax returns? Enough already. No more thinking about work today. Enjoy yourself while you've got the chance. Well, what about Margaret's missing cat? Are you kidding me? That rascally prince was apprehended by the brilliant honorary knight. And he also reclaimed my precious astral iron strings while he was at it. <laughs> it is my honor to work alongside you all. Praise be for the Animo Archon's guidance. Speaking of work, it must have been hard work to put all this together. Where did you find the time? <laughs> Actually, our friend here was the key organizer behind uh, all yo. Of this. <laughs> yo, por qué? this food and drink? He made sure it all arrived on time. Not only that, but he cooked each one of these beautiful dishes himself. So relax already. There's no need to be so modest. Ah, eso explica muchas cosas. Of course, we also have Master Diluc to thank for the venue. Otherwise, we would be looking at quite an alarming bill right about now. <sighs> Despite my initial reluctance to sponsor a Knights of Favonius event in any way, I, like any other citizen of Mondstadt, owe Jean my gratitude for her hard work. Oh, Master Diluc, I... Agreed. Now, let the party begin! Vale. Después de disfrutar una fiesta alegre. Everyone seems to be partying hard. Ah. My mom thinks we should join in the fun. Let's go and mingle. Oh, and my mom thinks she saw Jean go upstairs by herself. Let's make sure the woman of the hour doesn't get left out. Hmm. Se escapó. Oh, it is you. Aquí estás. ¿Te lo estás pasando bien? Yes, I am just. Getting some air. Uh oh, it seems like something's bothering Jean. I want to thank you again. <laughs> Either way, it is good to be here together with everyone. It has lifted my spirits and it has taught me something. What's that? I am definitely more of a dandelion knight than a lion tooth knight. The lion tooth knight represents Vanessa's past. A past in which she fought hard for Mondstadt, but it was the Dandelion Knight that represented her hopes for the future. A future belonging to the newly formed Knights of Favonius. I do believe that Vanessa watches over us, whether from high up above or from the wind all around us. Que el viento te guíe. Lead, the winds of freedom will guide us along the path that lies ahead. <laughs> I hope you will continue to join us on that path. Bueno. El día libre de un caballero de Fabonius. Bueno, este, eh, aquí me despido. Yo soy Bill. Eh, gracias por haber venido a ver el capítulo. Estuvo bastante bien. Ahí vimos a Jean. Ahí apoyamos a la pobre Jean. Al principio pues, no la usamos prácticamente porque nos mandaron a hacer todos los mandados. Y al final 
pues eh, la intentamos ayudar, usamos el personaje, estuvo bastante bien, nos vemos la próxima, yo me despido, no sin antes decirles, saben de su princesa, echenle muchas ganas a su estudio, pórtense bien y cumplan todos sus deseos, nos vemos hasta la próxima. Bye.